The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Early editions, 8.06 a.m. in the morning, and it'll be replayed at my show, regular time, 10 o'clock. We're looking at the Dow on this uh, Friday, the 26th of July. The Dow is up, up 263. That's the Dow Futures, the YM. And that's really important because yesterday there was a fabulous move. I'm just going to show you the um, cash. Look at that. That was a very nice. And then what happened is we gave back. Almost everything was up over 400 points. Then it came it came back down to close only up 80-something. But what's really important is look at that nine-period moving average. Let me just go to this chart here so you can see how important these are. And I did my webinar on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Discuss this in great detail. Look how that nine-period moving average has held even with this choppy Dow, yeah, look at the difference. Here's the S&P, finally, after all this time, went pink. Look at the Q. So the S&P was down to the 53.99 level. The E-mini, which is trading right now, up 47. Um, that is really nice. Good move yesterday, and then it gave it back. But you can see pink, nine-period moving average for a couple of days here. Look at the QQQ. That's, uh, the, I'll go to the NDX right now. I'll go to the futures. NQ. Up 227 and 19,218, a much deeper pullback. Look at that pink line. That green nine period moving average was positive. This last move was all the way from May, all the way through June, all the way through most of July. The mid July starts to dip, and then just the last couple of days gone pink. Look at the SMHs. So the SMHs, uh, this is the yesterday's closing price. Right now, they're up 5.79 at 242, but look how deeply they pull back. So this is going to be very important, the RTY, uh, which has been just, uh, to use Jacob's uh, favorite, one of his favorite words, stellar performance. 2275.60 um, two, two, right now, up 35.30. Look how nice that is. That is superior. Uh, is it going to be like this and then just continue in a choppy way to the upside? So let's go to the cash. And I'll show you the difference here between the different indices. Look at this IWM. Uh, this is the Russell iShares, uh, Russell 2000 ETF. These are the small caps. And the small caps have been doing really well. Uh, right now, up to 224.13, uh, up 3.56. Uh, this is a really good action. Look at that weekly chart. Um, that's the reason why we've been long adding and uh, wanting to to really build a, uh, even a stronger position in this because I think that the rotation says watch out because if there is a sector that finds favoritism, that that sector can continue moving higher regardless of what the general market does. I think that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, we're also uh, – yeah, and the other thing that we're looking at here, and this is going to be very important, so let me go through this. I'll go a little bit off my usual uh, routine. The bonds up 730 seconds at 118 and 2730 seconds. This 200 period moving average has been like a magnet line at 119 and 730 seconds. If the bonds are able next week, to push into the 120, then 121 area, that is going to be really important because it's held so well. This Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone hasn't even gotten close, but and it's moved out in the weekly chart. But in this cluster, you know, cluster formations tell you a lot. It tells you that the price has stalled and now it's trading in a certain range, but it's not breaking that range either way, up or down. It is just building either like a spring loaded spring to power to the upside to continue the direction it's come from or it's going to be repelled and that's what we're watching right here in the bonds let's go to the tlt maybe that gives us even a better picture see this is just simply put higher highs and higher lows except that the number of bars one two three four five this is the sixth week that it hasn't broken to a new high so that's i, I 
I'm not giving it much more than next week. Next week, it has to go from 92 to 55 or 28 cents right now. Of course, at 8.30 in another 20 minutes or so, we've got uh, the uh, an economic report probably to do with the jobs or um, jobless numbers, whatever it is, how the market responds at 8.30. I'm going to do this real quickly because it's just so fascinating. These patterns repeat over and over and over. The price goes into a cup formation. It has a number of hits just to the left side high. It's almost like the dreaded H, but upside down. It's the uh, reverse Y pattern. And what do I mean by that? Let me just grab this quickly just to show you what I mean. I would look at three core patterns in the market. Straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation. Mix of one and two or one and three. One and three is the dreaded H where it rallies, fails at a peak A or a B, then takes out the left side low and it can go a lot lower. The Y is where it goes up, it stalls, and then it comes back and how it tests and either breaks and holds above that left side high is very important. So here's your reverse Y. You've got it both in the 10-minute chart of the E-mini, trading up 46.75. Look at how it just stalled it. It did go to a fractional new high, so that's either an old continuing the pattern, an old E or a brand new B. So what I do is, this is a 10 minute time frame. So I go to the shorter time frame because that's gonna give me clues. And the five minute chart is exactly the same, except in this case, it's an F slash B. And then the one minute chart had a recycle. So that's an F, this is a G slash C. Therefore it could go in the sharp wave method. I remember this is technical Friday, so I can do this fancy stuff here. Yeah? And this is a G star C and says it could pop one more time to a D, but we're getting a little toppy, and that's that pattern that inverse dreaded H looks like a reverse Y. How we tackle the left side high is absolutely imperative to monitor. All right, that's very short term. Let's go back to our story. Um, we're looking at gold. Gold has been oh, smashed to the downside over the last week and a half, gone from the 2480s down to the 2350s. Right now, it's up 20 at 2373. I'm still saying that I consider this to be a sideways, high-level consolidation in the weekly chart of gold. The monthly chart, yeah, we've got another couple of days to go, and not many, but we've got four sessions to go, and we'll see how it closes in leg C. In the monthly chart, look at silver. Silver got decimated. That was a really, that went right down to the 200 period moving average. Even now, it's only up point oh, minus, is minus 0 0.08 at 27.89. It's a continuous contract, made a peak E. I have to put a weekly down arrow, meaning there's a sell signal, not a sell mode, because that nine period moving average is still strong, but it's closed. Well, I'm just saying I don't know about the today at five, four o'clock, but so far it's had two candles that have gone on a closing basis under the 14 period moving average, the black line. And that just says to me, have no choice. The sell mode has been in place in the daily. Now the sell mode in the a sell signal, not a sell mode, just a sell signal in the weekly chart. Monthly chart is still pretty good. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper. Oh, time flies, huh? High grade copper. Finally, you might even get an update today. No, no, it's down 0 0.005 at 4.12. That 200 period moving average of 4.22, I would say that that's a target next week for a bit of a bounce. We'll see. Basil Chapman, early edition. This is 8.14 a.m. in the morning. It's the time. I'll be back on this Friday the 26th. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until August 1st, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and they never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus from purchasing Tiger Dollars, now is your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until August 1st. So lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So yes, it's Patton again. This is live. This is at eight uh, eighteen in the morning, and there it is. I I, I should not have put that down arrow in. I I could do it in the five minute chart because it was time and price that were involved here. It, it the green nine pre moving average was so strong. So this is the one we're going to watch all the way through to eight thirty five. If the 5470 uh, level gets taken out very quickly, then we can go all the way back to fifty four sixty. But most importantly, if this holds through most of the morning, um, and I had a Chapman Wave trend gauge reading, I mentioned it in the den yesterday, that was very high and said that today there should be, um, the overnight, there should be an E-mini rally, and then there should be, uh, we'll see what happens at 8.30 this morning when the economic news comes out. This has already come out, I don't know. But most importantly, uh, it gave really good guidance to what could happen overnight into to, into this morning. So let's just keep going here. So I wanted to show, show you the um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is trading up 2,705 at 68,096. It gave a good signal of lower lows and lower highs coming when it made that high back in the 75,000s in May. Uh, March, sorry, March, and then it kept coming down lower, a uh, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and now this the weekly chart for the first time uh, since it went pink, uh, negative, a couple of weeks ago, and this is Friday. It's a it's a weekly candle. I cannot call, talk about it as if it had closed because I have to wait for four o'clock. But in the meantime, it has gone L, meaning that the nine period moving average. Thus far, this week has flipped back to positive, but I have to wait for 4 o'clock. But you have got the ictus at the bottom with a V-shaped pattern in the on-balance volume, the blue line. The stochastic went just about at 20% and now it's at 33%. That's good. Um, the on-balance volume is still very weak, but it did turn up. The MACD is still very weak. The histogram is improving a little bit, but it's still very weak. The 9 period moving average is going to be the clue. And actually, it's at a peak C in the daily chart. I suspect it's going to go to a D. And then if that D is very strong, this leg goes sharply above uh, 69,400 in the continuous contract. That's Bitcoin. That's going to be very important. Look, the GBTC, the Bitcoin uh, Investment Trust, has already gotten to a D. So there's a little discrepancy there. I'm, I'm leaning because the cash index is the one that leads. 
this is the, this only trades um, at least it only it's trading right now. It's up two forty one at fifty nine seventy seven. But you can see that the price only opens at nine thirty on the uh, trust. So even though it's trading, you're not getting that picture, and that's really important. So this picture says if it goes just a, a tad above fifth, above sixty point sixty one. And then next week slips back into the 58 area. That's not so good. If it powers sharply into the 61 and a half, 62 area, that says, okay, even though it made a peak D under the previous peak D, in this Chapman methodology, always count the peaks from the lowest low. Uh, D is where other things can happen. You can have an instant restart. Very exciting that if it does that, it means with three bars, it takes, a, it goes to a new leg E. Then you have E slash A as an alternate count and can go all the way to another four peaks. But that hasn't happened here. So we'll have to see what happens. And you can see low lows and lower highs in the weekly chart as well. Monthly chart is still very positive, uh, having made a peak C and taken four months to digest without breaking under the nine period exponential moving average. That, in fact, is very positive. OK, we want to do. I've not done this for a while. So let's just do that now. Look, here's the dollar. The dollar's kind of struggling. It's at the lower end of the range. I've been saying this for ages. If you look at the monthly chart of the dollar, now I must mention we've been long since 2018 at 90. We've seen it go to the 120s and come back. Seen it go to the 114.78 level back in September of 2022 and come all the way back. I've had this more as a kind of a benchmark of um, – uh, U.S. economy with the, with the dollar being the favorite currency, uh, that, uh, not just purely technical. It was purely technical. We have taken little bits off, but I would have got out of it and said, hey, it's not worth wasting your time. It's just going sideways. But I, we've kept it here. Now, what's really important is you can see it broke the uptrend line. But if you look at the monthly chart, it's just stuck in a range. And here it is stuck in the range between about 107 and uh, call it 102, maybe even 101. Uh, just stuck. All right. Hey, look at the EUR USD. That's the euro dollar currency pair. Went to a peak E above. Look, this is that pattern that we talk about. Look, cup formation goes above the left side high, holds it for one bar, one day that is, and then the, all the rest have been negative below it. So that just says stuck with that 200 period moving average of 1.09, major resistance and support probably at 1.07, uh, actually 1.08 is the 200 period moving average, so it's not going anywhere. And here's the other one, USD JPY, that is the yen, the dollar yen currency pair, um, made a PD double top. There's a little same little thing, a little double top at, at 160.86 back in July. And now it's gone to the 200 period moving average. Yesterday hit it exactly. Today it's running off it a little bit. So we're going to be watching what's going on here. Peak E in the weekly chart. Uh, it's having a digestive phase at a high level consolidation. And that's going to exactly what we'll see. If at any point next week it goes under 150, that's a real problem. And if it remains here, you could really test 155.93. Um, and it's trading right now at 154.69. All right, now let's get to the to the next thing I want to look at here was uh, crude oil. Crude oil, in fact, is coming off a, a leg D. It's really a tough D if it holds nicely. Today it's up. It's minus 32 at 77.96. Now what's interesting? Yesterday I was asked if I could look at rig. Okay, all right, Jesus symbol, and it had a fabulous session. And today it's following through. It's up five cents at 5.87. And this is Transocean Limited offshore drilling oil and gas. Is this a political move? Is this not really based on the oil itself? It's not even based on natural gas. Look at natural gas is making lows. I mean, how many times in the last year have we been saying lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, low? Just natural gas is, is out of favor. There just has to be an abundance of this. Otherwise, it would be much, much higher. Now, within that context, all I can say is that if the oil, if the drillers, um, uh, BITX, oh, BITX, I'm sorry, I, I had a question about this. Let me get to it right now. Let me just type that in here. But anyway, I want to say natural gas is going nowhere at this point. Uh, BITX, yeah, that's a peak A. No, that's peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. Yeah, it's got to the D. I think you might have miss, missed this one. Look, there's your A. 
Remember, a bicycle upgraded to a bi mode says it should go to at least a D. And the stochastic was good. Everything's good. Yeah, it's at a D. Peak D is just digesting gains. The ITX is the Bitcoin strategy ETF. Wow, there's so many of these now. Okay, let's get back to our story. Now, this is going to be, you remember I used Microsoft? I used it as kind of a benchmark for our own trading as well as for um, a pattern that I call the stalk leg formation. And I said, all right, it's done the beak. And then the beak has a conclusion. It can have a really good rally, which it did. And then it's dropped sharply. And that means that the beak actually is continuing into the body. This is like part A, part B. It's something that uh, we've got to monitor very closely. That tells me that a bifurcated market that even with seconds you're going to have to watch and see how it is. Uh, as stuff does for instance yes, Amazon and Amazon if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, so economic news out. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I, I, I don't update that at all. I just look at the price. Look at this. Look at the E mini. It dropped down to the 200 period moving average of 54.82, and then it spiked high. Went to a new uh, intraday high. Uh, is this now a leg C to the upside? In the and the uh, is it an F or a C in the 10 minute chart? Is it an, a C in the uh, Five-minute chart. Oh, look at that. That is excellent action. So the day is young. Anything can happen. It could still uh, be assessed 
Uh, the market always takes its first couple of minutes uh, to have a big spike up or down, and then we'll see what happens. Most of the time for the past many weeks, uh, there's been a spike down, and then there's been a spike up, and then that's it. It just moves up all day. I think that this is going to be a little bit choppy with a bias to the upside in select areas. So um, this is now we're done with this. We're going to watch to see where it goes afterwards. We'll come back to it. What I want you to say is this. Look, we looked at Amazon. Amazon has made this big arch formation. 173.87 was the low back uh, end of May, beginning of June. And it, it runs all the way to a peak year, 201.20. Comes back down yesterday's low. Was above the 173.87, but look how the nine period moving average is so weak under the 14. The MACD is very weak. Stochastics at 16% on balance volume is down. So that just says that uh, Amazon could spike, but it's probably going to stay in a trading band. Here's the weekly chart, probably in a trading band. And there's V shaped formation. Oh, I can take this away now because we've broken above it. The V shaped formation in the monthly chart. Let me just say take or remove. Uh, for yeah, retracement, there it is. So it's just a beautiful uh, uh, cup formation, and it's it's just stuck in a range. It's not a big deal. It's not breaking down. Look at this. We'll go to Goog. Goog came out with earnings. The other day. I don't know how. Whoa, look at that. Sharply lower at 169.80. Took out the left side low from June, and you can see the weekly chart. There's a really good chance this is going to become a peak G, and that just says that the whole area of the text. And I think that we're going to see that even today. I've got a feeling that the early rally is pretty much done and that we could chop around and may even make low highs and low lows. We don't have to uh, crash anything like that today. I just think that that move yesterday with the, the pullback and then that huge move, the Dow's up over 500 points, comes back all the way down and closes only up 83. There's a bit of a give back there. So I think now we're seeing the rotation. That's what I said to subscribers. Let's focus on what we've been correct at, which is the rotation going from one sector that is, is formerly the, the leader, like the um, IGV. Let me just see if I've still got that notated. Ah, oh, I lost all the notation. Doesn't matter. Let's just go to the um, XLK, which is basically the S&P tech sector. Look, there it is. Now, I don't know. I can't count this any other way than a, than a peak C in the weekly chart. But it is a leg D in the monthly right at – isn't this fascinating? Look, right at a long-term trend line, a very long term, from the uh, the low of 2015, around about July. Look at that trend line. It went right to it, and it got repelled at that line. Look at the S&P. How is the S&P going to break above this line? I don't know. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to do it. And there it is. Isn't that incredible? Beautiful. Chap, we've inside track repellent zone. So far, that's been working. Oh, isn't this interesting? Look, Trump, uh, I got this here. I've got this as Obama. Then I've got, I just put this in because there was so much talk politically. I said, let's just look at the evidence. The evidence is on the price of what happens with Trump. Trump had a very good rally. Even Obama had a very good rally. Biden's had a very good rally. And he's going to wrap it up right 25, right there. So we'll see where the price of the market ends up. On that particular January bar, uh, there'll be a new president regardless. And we'll just see where it goes and what happens after that. All right. So in the meantime, you've got your resistance there. And I'm looking at, uh, what did I go for? Um, yes. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Fletch. Uh, breaking U.S. inflation data released. Year to year over year growth. 2.5 versus 2.5 estimate. Okay, core PCE 2.6 versus 2.5. Ha, oh, you can't keep a good market down uh, or growth. P PCE was 0.01 and estimate and 0.01 is what it was. Okay, 0.2. Oh, man, just in line. So all that, that what happens there is that if you're looking at the interest rates, let's see where the interest rates are right now. Yeah, interest rates up a half a point. Uh, that means the yields are coming down. Ah, that'll be good. So isn't this fascinating? Look, Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers makes it all-time high just a, a, a week or so ago and retested yesterday. And even now it's about at, at up 3.80 um, pre-market. So that's at 136.45. If that holds, what are we looking at? We're looking at one. 
37.29. It is fractions away from an all-time high. How's the Fed going to work this out? I don't know. But all I can say is that um, this is not what you would normally expect under these conditions. Lenar, same thing. Lenar is trading up. Dollar seventy two to one seventy three, uh, one seventy five was the high yesterday, and, the, and uh, about six days ago the high was once. Uh, oh wait, one sixty nine point thirty one. Oh, wrong one, one seventy seven point seventy nine. Trading at all time highs, it's amazing. Now what I'm going to do is show you what happens to the E mini. Look at this digestive phase. Popped up to that a uh, leg F slash C in the 10 minute chart. Same thing in the uh, five minute chart and the one minute chart. This is what we call the Eiffel Tower. It goes straight up and straight down. Oh, we're talking about Eiffel Tower. You've got the uh, the games going on from opening night to night in Paris. Mm, uh, this is going to be very interesting, I must say, because um, all I know, I know the sprinters. And the sprinting has been every, I think, almost every meet this entire year we've had, the men's and women, uh, the records has just been breaking all over the show. It is um, unbelievable the times that they are doing. It's just amazing how human nature is this. Why weren't we doing this 100 years ago? Um, because this is, maybe our health is improving, but whatever it is, the top athletes of those days did a certain time and every every period, every decade, let's say, some of those records that have stood for ages, they get taken out. They get taken out. They get taken. That's human nature. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just an incredible thing that we always want to surpass something from before. And I, I think I, that's the beautiful thing, I think, about human nature. All right. So HE Retail Analyst moves DEC up to best idea. So let's see what DEC's doing. D-E-C-K. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's up 106. It said 947. Yesterday it was at 8, 817. Ah, how about that? DEC is outdoors, Australian shoe company. <laughs> peak F in the monthly chart. Peak D in the weekly. Peak A E high at the 1,100s. And it tumbles down 200%. That's a big move, 20%. And now it's moved up to 12%. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Bells Chapman, early edition. And there's a bunch of stuff I want to get. That's a question. I'm going to get to them as we return. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman, early edition of the uh, Technicians and Market Technicians Hour. So what we're looking at uh, is RIG. Uh, 5.78 right now down 4 cents. So what I said yesterday when it was discussed is that I wasn't sure exactly what the reason was. Uh, the offshore drilling oil and gas company, why it, it had such a really strong um, candle yesterday because some of the others, MRO, uh, slightly different category. Yeah, you know, this is very interesting. Uh, it's almost in its own orbit. It's been doing, uh, it's been, it, it's been showing signs of strength and then it gives it up and shows signs of weakness, but then it shows signs of strength again. That was a sign of strength. It went right to the 200 period moving average. And what I said is, until rig really shows that it's able in the weekly chart to get above the uh, right there, above this 200 orange 200 period moving average, and and uh, if it can push out and away, it's going to do that. Just remember, okay, this is technical Friday, so let me just show you something. I love these trend lines, but the longer the trend line goes, the more the greater the chance that just time alone is going to move the price out of that range. And it just goes sideways. Well, sideways means if you've got a diagonal trend line, you're going to move out of it. Oh, talking about technical analysis, uh, today at 9, that's another 15 minutes or so, it should be another one of those fantastic Fridays with Larry Pesavento doing his live trading session. Uh, it, just fabulous. I mean, just I, I, when I get a chance, I, I always watch it. I always learn, even though it's so funny. So many times, the patterns that he's looking at, and even numbers sometimes, correspond exactly to what I'm looking at based on the Chapman Wave methodology. The use of, of whatever technique it is that you have is so important because you got to do these things over and over and over. To, so it becomes like playing like I'm a clarinetist. I was a professional clarinetist. I, I don't play professionally anymore. I just play for fun. But your fingers just know where to go. And and that's just the same thing here. You just do it because it's it's not just instinct. It is part of the muscle memory, okay? So look at this. Time is going to take you oh, And a week from today. Tom O'Brien does. He's live. Uh, this year, he hasn't done one for ages. This should be really exciting. A live uh, a live webinar, that is, on a Friday. So look at this. Time is taking you out of this range. You did that right here. I remember actually drawing in. I've, I did I, in not maybe it was not here, but I remember in one of the oil service companies, there was a trend line in this half moon shape. This is a, an a quaro. This is the quarter of a semicircle right here, and then it broke out. And that one was that's what you're doing. Look, you're walking the nine and fourteen period moving averages that have gone positive. They haven't gone positive yet here. So this is a work in progress. I know a couple of people have been interested in this sector. And I'm just saying to you, I've 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 wanted to be long here. We have a long time ago. We went, I think we actually went long rig just very briefly, but it just didn't hold up. And in this particular instance, you've got a very strong leg B. And that just says the MACD is good, the moving average convergence is good. Stochastic still weak is 64. On balance volume is good. That relative strength in the daily chart is good. The weekly chart needs a lot of work to go, and means a lot of work, meaning 
price. It isn't time. Now if time is used by going sideways without breaking out, that pink nine period moving average, that MACD is just cross positive, stochastic at 20%, still going to remain weak. You want the lead, it's like a rudder. The rudder says the little speedboat can make a really quick turn. A medium-sized cruise boat is not going to. And a super tanker and the monthly chart is going to take a long time. And that monthly chart is very, it's just saying, eh. There's nothing to see here. It's in a trading range. If you're a short-term trader, you can go from five to six and a half, and then it comes back down again. If you're weekly, in this case, intermediate-term trader, still nothing to see. It's the daily chart. So I'm going to suggest if you're long, and I think, uh, um, um, Flesh, you're long from lower down, you stay long. And you need to see, and this is what you got to see, so I'll grab the 120-minute chart, technical Friday, so we can take a little time to do some technicals. And you've got, look, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, double top, and then another peak A. Oh, this is interesting. And that's B. Now, is that a continuation pattern? Is this um, F slash uh, B? We don't really care. It's just really good action. And it's, it's com a con concomitant with the MACD being strong and the stochastic at 87%. So I'm going to suggest to you, stay long. What you, I'm going to tell you what you want to see. You don't want to see a pullback, yet another pullback under a closing price of under 560. It's trading at 580 right now. What you do want to see is this ugly candle right here on the left, the candle in rig. This is Transocean. It, uh, offshore drilling oil and gas right there, the 3rd of June, 623 was the high, 567 was the low. You're trading right now at 580. You want to see halfway into this week, into the candle, I'm sorry, into the candle itself, 596. So as long as it can get to the 596 and touch $6 by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, then you've got a cup formation that says by Thursday or so, Thursday or even Friday of next week, you can touch the left side high of 625. That is a long way to get a big percentage move. I'm just saying go one step at a time. It is constructive in the daily, not yet in the weekly. This Chapman Wave inside track repellent line, a zone actually, has just been – it just doesn't allow the price to go up for very long. But this is the first time the line con con corresponds exactly to the 200-period moving average right there. Look, you're exactly there. There's that cross right there. It's uh, 582, and you're trading right now at 580. All right. I hope that, that helps you. Okay, a couple of things I want to look at here. So the XLF, this is the financials, had a big move up yesterday and then gave it back. It did a peak D. Um, about five sessions, six sessions ago at 44.11. It went above the trend line resistance as the channel. And now I'm going to show you something else that I like to do. So now I look at the one that gives the, the, the best use of a channel. I'll go from that low right there back in March. I'll go to the low right there. And then I draw a parallel line. And I say, well, if this is a parallel line that broke above, that's one thing. Look at that. It went just fractionally above. So let me just do this just as for illustrative. There, I call that green, call that pink. And it just says, I'm trapped in a rising higher highs and higher lows. It's very positive. Gone to an all time high of 44.11. There's a select. Oh, whoops, a minute. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, yeah, all time high. I want to just go back. What was it back in yeah, 2012, 2000? Oh, 30.98. There it is. 30.98 was May of 2007 peak E. Look at that tumble down to 4.77. 4 Marcia, will we see that again? Whew. Wow. That was that the bank crisis. It was quite something. And here you are. There's the, uh, the Y, the reverse Y pattern. We've gone above, and we're going to see if that can hold. If you look at the KRE, the regional banks, that's very different. We love this area. Look at this. 58.40 uh, up 18 cents. Here you are in the um, the nether netherland of the daily. And then you look at the week, you say, that is fantastic. And then you look at the month, you say, oh my God, this was once, this was once at 78.81. It went down to 34. That was in January of 2022. It slumped to 34.12, got cut in half, more than half, um, uh, half. 
in May of 2023. So now it's come back to about halfway. That's a good sign. So this is acting very well, KRE. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Type Ignition's Hour. We'll be back in a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my market insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. Hi, so I was asked if I could show Supermicro SMCI. It's up 14, free market at 7, 10.44. Right on the 200 period moving average, this is where it should try to balance, but it's also produced, uh, you remember the dreaded H pattern that we were looking at? Well, it's gone fractionally lower on the right side, but if it starts a big rally at this particular point, having been sold, having been sold off for quite some time since March, where it hit 100, 1,229 round number all-time high, um, and then for those round numbers were just unbelievable for those the selling spree that we saw. Uh, in the semiconductors, especially, but this is not. This is uh, uh, this is AI computing solutions architecture, high power AI. So what we're looking at is this arch formation. So it has to rally. Now let me do this real quickly. What I like very much at this particular point, I like the Russell 2000. It's at 223.24 um, for subscribers. We've been long. I like there's certain areas that I like very much, and Microsoft has been the clue. I don't want to go through that again that this beak formation did have that really strong bounce. Now it's gone back to the downside move. This is a consolidation in the tech sector that were fantastic. AI, et cetera, was just, the hype was unbelievable. Now they have to pay the penalty by having a digestive phase. As they're doing that, money wants to find a home, and I think it's finding a home. I think for subscribers to my opening call, don't forget that webinar I did Tuesday. It's available. You sign up for my newsletter, 
uh, especially now that you've got the Tiger Dollar Sale, uh, you get yourself a really good bonus because you get all my webinars. You get a bunch of things plus the webinar that I did on Tuesday. It was really significant. I, I was very focused, very specific, showed a lot of stocks, stocks that we want to be buying. We started trying to buy some of them, and we're going to see what happens. Um, and the most, most importantly right now is how does the market close on this Friday for a weekly chart? This is going to be very important. So let me just go to the Dow for the moment. Like the Dow, the Dow is holding well. The Dow 30, yes, it pulled back sharply, but nothing like the others. So out of the three uh, major, so it's called a four major indexes. That's the Dow, the S&P, the, the, the NDX 100, and the uh, uh, IWM, I, I would say that the, the Dow is the Dow 30 has enough in it to say it could be well supported and actually start to move higher again this coming week. We'll see what happens. I think we'll have a choppy week, but a very selective week with some stocks moving very nicely, especially the laggards. Have a wonderful uh, weekend, uh, rest of the day, and uh, I'll see you on Monday. And check out my opening call newsletter. And stay tuned for great programming. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.